Hello, once again. So this time we'll see how to find uh, the matrix representation of a linear transformation under a basis that is a slightly different to the ones that we have considered before. Okay, so first, what we're gonna do is determine the action of the transformation on the provided basis. In this particular case, the basis of the domain and the codomain are exactly the same. So let's let's compute. We have t of the cosine of t, and what will be that? Well, that's the second derivative of the cosine uh, plus two times the first derivative of the cosine plus three times the cosine of t. Well, what is that? Uh, let's see, mm, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, and the second derivative of cosine is the derivative of negative sine, which is just negative cosine. So this is negative cosine of t minus um, 2 times sine of t plus 3 cosine of t. Now, what I want to do is combine things. This becomes now 2 uh, cosine of t minus 2 times sine of t. Okay, it's important that I keep the order because now I see that this correspond to the coordinates of this vector under this basis in that order. Now, let's look for the next one t of sine of t, right? What will be that? Well, that is the second derivative of sine plus 2 times the derivative of sine plus 3 times sine of t. Well, the derivative of sine is cosine, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so that, that means that the second derivative of sine is negative sine of t plus 2 times cosine of t plus 3 times sine of t. Now we're going to combine them just as we did before. And this becomes uh, 2 cosine of t uh, plus 2 sine of t. Hmm. So, remember, what is that this means? These numbers that we have here represent the coordinates of this vector under this basis. So now, we're ready to represent our matrix. So let's see, uh, just as we have done it before, we collect them. This one corresponds to the first column, so 2, negative 2, as that's the first vector to be introduced. And then this one, well, that's the second column, 2, 2, as that's the second basis vector. Okay, there we go. We finished with the representation. Now, if you want to see how it actually behaves, right, We'll have to, we have to introduce additional notation, right? So here we have the following, uh, where t of f of t, it's given by the following, 2, negative 2, 2, 2, times u1, u2, equal to 4, no, no, sorry, not 4. 2u1 uh, plus 2u2 uh, minus 2u1 
plus 2 u2. Uh, let's interpret where u1, u2 is the coordinate vector of f of t in the basis cosine of t, sine of t, in that order. I hope that you like it. Please subscribe, take care, and I'll see you next time.